In this problem, we will solve problem 119, which is the nonlinear behavior of a spring force. This problem is from the textbook Mechanical Vibration from Sigurdsson so Rao and is from the sixth edition, chapter one. My name is Carmen Mueller Carrier. So we have a system in which the mass m is directly connected to springs with stiffness k1 and k2 while the springs of stiffness K3 or K4 come into contact with the mass based on the value of the displacement of the mass. We will measure the displacement of the mass with the variable x from the center of the mass. We like to determine the variation of the spring force exerted on the mass as the displacement of the mass varies. If we graph the force of the spring, the force of the spring will be a piecewise function. So if we put the parameters of our function, this will be x sub zero, and my motion start to be counted starting right here. This distance is d4. The system has to move before in order to touch the other spring and the distance over here will be d2 it has to move d2 in the other direction to touch the other spring regarding the slopes here oh, the slope of this section of the curve will be k1 plus k2 the slope for this section of the curve will be k1 plus k2 plus k4 and the slope for this section will be k1 plus k2 plus k3 therefore we can write our function as a piecewise function for the center of the curve the function will be k1 plus k2 x minus x sub zero if we count the motion starting from zero. For this section of the curve, the function will be k1 plus k2 x minus x sub zero plus k4 x minus x sub zero minus d4. And for this section of the curve, I have the same k1, k2, x minus x sub zero, and I have to add k3, x minus x sub zero plus d2. Just important to remind that the constant k1 and k2 add because they are in parallel and they are in parallel because they share the same displacement. 